Okay, so I know my page says 10 minutes or less. Uh, this is not your typical Cassie walking video, Cassie being myself, because this was, uh, you may notice that I don't have a lot of, I've been living in the UK for almost a year now, and I don't have a lot of videos, you know, traveling around Europe. Well, I like to go to places I haven't been before, mostly, not always. Uh, I've been to Ireland more than once, and obviously I'm back in the UK, but uh, I, in my undergrad, I did my last semester here at the University of Leicester, and I spent a month uh, in spring of 2008 backpacking through Europe with um, a few friends at different points, and then at one point by myself in Ireland. But so, uh, <laughs> when it comes to uh, other European countries that are close by, I've, I've been to quite a few of them, and so this video, you have to understand too, the quality is not that great, because this was 2008. This is long before uh, s smartphones became common use and so we were filming most of this on like my friend's little point-and-shoot camera. Uh, I, you know I look at modern conveniences now and I wonder like how the hell did we get around Europe? She had a laptop um, which we uh, it, we <laughs> shared the duties of carrying around Paris the one day we were there and uh, after I left her all I had was internet cafes because I had a flip phone. So you may notice, too, this is a 21-year-old Cassie, far less stylish, but equally as funny. I have to give mad props to my friend Ellen, who I traveled through most of Europe with. Uh, she's a hilarious lady. She's uh, incredibly funny, and she's kind of the one who got me to uh, come out of my shell uh, during during this trip when it came to making fun travel videos. And so I ended up combining all of our videos into one thing uh, <laughs> after we got back, which is why it's this, you know, 20 minute, somewhat long video. And I forgot some scenes too in there. So I thought it'd be really clever and add them on as deleted scenes in the very end. So if you feel like sitting around for 20 minutes watching me and a few friends uh, tour Europe in our early 20s, then uh, enjoy. <laughs> How's your Easter dinner? It's fantastic. And what did you put on your Easter dinner? Well, it's an immaculate <laughs> combination of Nutella, just yeah. a little bit, and uh, it's, uh, jelly here. Jelly. G E L E E. And peanut butter. And a combination of this peanut butter as well. Yeah. I'm just sticking with the Nutella and peanut butter right Nutella here. And peanut Nutella butter. and peanut butter. Nutella and peanut butter. Oh, yum. Yeah. Sounds, yum. sounds like all kinds of amazing. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's Easter in our hostel, and so to celebrate, Kathy and I are having an Easter egg hunt. I hid them right there in the light. The Uber Ration van on the clock. Just a second. And one right there. Let's see if she finds them. <laughs> They're in obvious spots, like they're not hidden. Okay. Well, what's the point of the hunt, though? Obvious spots are the worst. I can't see them in the middle of these. Are you pointing to it? No. You found one. That only took you two minutes. Now go find two more. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. All right. You found the Uber Russian sign. Now you have to find the last one. Nine. <laughs> Light on this situation. <laughs> Yay, you found uh, all three. You were over here and you were like, where is it? It was like right there. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> Uber Russian What do you have to say about the hospital in Bruges? <laughs> but look at all the people around. Oh, interesting people to be sure. They love them cigarettes in front of the computers so no one can use them. I got black love pop. Yeah! 
Are you bored? Do you need some excitement? Look no further! It be Bruges! Bruges. Welcome, a bustling city on the move, this modern town <laughs> is rising with its happening businesses and really old bars. What have you to say, Alan, about this wonderful town? Yeah! How to act like a local. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Smoke. A lot. Mumble under your breath when you pass tourists. How to act like a local. Don't let people into your store unless we plan on buying something. <laughs> Window shopping is not an option. How to act like a local. Don't care if anyone has questions. How to act like a local. Those are cities with impossible to navigate. <laughs> How to act like a local. Request cobblestone for your next driveway. <laughs> we are on the beaches of Normandy! Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like? Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. Yay! We like the you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are those holes, Cassie? Uh, I, think, I think there was a bad groundhog epidemic here a few years ago. That's my best guess, and my expert opinion. Little town, little quiet village, every day like the one before. Little town, full of little people, waking up to say. Bonjour, Bayou. Bonjour, Bayou. Bonjour. There goes the bacon with the tray, like always. The same old bread, bro. Oh, just the same. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, sir. Where are you off to? The bookshop. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beef sock and That's great. Three. It's about again. when I come to visit her, all right? I'm the fountain show! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Bellagio, but Spanish. One. Oh, I had to use the big one. 
and little Kathy. And this is our lovely outfit. water fountain that is there for climbing and getting wet and getting more wet. Makes me a little toasty. Okay. A geography lesson with Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. Well, hello there, kids. What we're going to do today is see what we've done throughout Europe on our travels. Let's start out in Prague, Czech Republic, or Praha if you're looking on a map. Here we go, from Prague up to Berlin. There for a while, now down, down, down on an overnight train to Munich. That was fun. We saw the glockenspiel. And then we went all the way up to Cologne. Then over to Brussels and Bruges, that bustling metropolis. Then back closer to Brussels. Then down, down, down to Paris. And through Paris we went to Cannes. And then to the little town of Bayou. A small day trip to Hermanche, the Didier beaches. Then back to Cannes to Paris for a day carrying backpacks with a very bad tour guide. <laughs> and then all the way down, down, down to Barcelona, insert Spanish accent, right here, where we met two men that courted Ellen, a southern boy named Forrest James Gump, <laughs> and an Italian guy named Marco, who said Ellen was beautiful. And then we went all the way up to Marseille, uh, but not before we went through Montpellier where we met <laughs> Kevin, who was very glad to see some fellow Americans at the train station. We love English speakers. <laughs> and then we went all the way to Nice, where we had a Nice day on the Nice beaches, looking at the Nice blue water. Our next stop is Florence. Yes! Lovely train here with no lights. So, France. This is the most annoying sound that it has. Train station. You hear that right before announcement. French 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 French. Wee 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 wee. No. 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 I'm Sunbeck. So badly. That's ready. Wait, wait for just a second when I push. Wait. 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 Can you notice how classy we are? It's from a day on the beach. Did it, did it. And that annoying noise. Did it, did it. Good night. Deep in the heart of Italy, in a hole in the wall, sits the beast of Florence. Terror, frightening, death. Ah! 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 Me 
recently on the streets of Italy, I purchased my second gelato of the day. This time with hazelnut and Nutella yogurt. Surprise, surprise. Woo, I love Nutella. And while doing this, Kathy says, and I repeat, man, you're eating that fast. Following this, being an English major that she is, she further dissects her sentence. Here to explain, Miss Bristol. Hello there, kids. Today we're going to dissect a common sentence. Man, you're eating that fast. It's a wonder anyone ever understands us in the English language. Because our we mispronounce things so much, and it's very confusing. Take, for example, the sentence, man, you're eating that fast. Man, being the male, also uses a slang sometimes for whoa. You're a contraction of you are. That, pretty self-explanatory, that eaten, a misdifferentiation of the word eating, apostrophe at the end of it, and fast, meaning quickly. Man, you're eating that fast. This has been a dissection of a common sentence in the English language. Hello, and welcome to a hole in the wall. We have a moment. Let's go up these creepy stairs that will at one point darken until we turn on the white. Oh my. Oh yay. It really is a hole in the wall. Fun! Fun! <laughs> Put together with paper and tape. Yeah. <laughs> and here's our door. And our free key to keep us safe at night. We don't go up those stairs. Oh, <laughs> is a door that's open. Oh, wait a second. I did not want that. What was I thinking? Oh. And two more nails in the towel. Oh, why? Oh, why? <laughs> What you're about to see just might be the single most inconsequential event of your lifetime. No! No? <gasps> Seriously! That's crazy talk! Ridiculous. I don't believe you. You lie. What are you talking about? No way! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your marks, get set, go! No!
more. I wish for a new pair of shoes. My, what a magical moment. Hello, my name's Cassie Duke. I am the editor of this film, and I'm here to provide you with audio commentary for our couple deleted scenes. Now, I'm going to slow it down because this clip is pretty short. As you can see, this is the famous Trevi Fountain in Rome. This clip didn't make the cut mostly due to the lack of technique and coin tossing. You saw the flip across the shoulder instead of over the head. Very un-Roman and just unusable. What did you wish for, Ellen? Something to do with pumpkins. And here we go. Such a good clip. I really thought we'd be able to use this one because she gets the toss right. But the shifty eyes coming up here and her unusual wish, a possibly a veiled reference to her current boyfriend, we just weren't sure how audience would react, so it had to be taken out.